हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज कुलदीप सिंह राठौड़ एंड वेलकम इन गेट वाला प्लेटफॉर्म सो देर आर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हु वॉन्ट टू क्लियर मेनी एग्जामिनेशन एंड सिक्योर देयर कैरियर सो दे आर रियली वरीड सर इफ आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द गेट एग्जामिनेशन एम आई एबल टू क्लियर मल्टीपल एग्जामिनेशन डेफिनेटली देर आर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स मेनी टॉपर्स आर देयर वो प्रिपेयर फॉर द गेट एग्जामिनेशन बट लेटर ऑन दे आर एबल टू क्लियर मल्टीपल एग्जाम लाइक बी ए आर सी एन आई सी नीलेट सो टूडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन there are one student uh, rishi ji they uh, he is going to discuss uh, uh, how he prepare for different uh, exam and uh, how he able to clear multiple exam with the gate preparation so uh, you will get lots of insight uh, by him hi guys my name is uh, rishi sharma and i have completed my btech from nit karnataka in computer science and engineering uh, i am graduated from there in 2021 so during my btech uh, I have done two internships, uh, one at IIC Bangalore at the end of second year and one at Cisco. Uh, after doing the internship at Cisco, I got the pre-placement offer and I uh, started working there as a software engineer. And I have also worked on the research project because during my B.Tech, I was very much interested in machine learning and artificial intelligence. So I wanted to publish a research paper in that field. So I worked on it uh, for about one and a half year under uh, Jenny Rajan sir at uh, NIT Karnataka, and uh, the outcome of the research was that we were able to come up with a machine learning model which has beaten all the existing state of the art model of that time, and we got three percent increment in the uh, accuracy, and that uh, paper was published in the Journal of Germany. and after working at cisco for about one year i decided to switch to different company so when i was uh, switching uh, uh, to different companies i gave interviews for uh, many top companies and i received offer from amazon oracle palo alto networks uh, google and nike and finally i accepted the offer from uh, palo alto networks i have been working there for around 2.7 years as a software engineer and then i decided to switch to uh, uh, government jobs uh, so i get to know about uh, the government jobs from the uh, gw channel uh, so i used to watch the videos notification advertisement of these jobs from uh, guldeep rathore sir uh, he used to really give update about it uh, i worked in private because i was not aware that uh, there are opportunity for computer science student i i always thought that the upsc is the only option to get into government so uh, when i get to know about uh, the gw channel i used to uh, watch the notifications and uh, then i started uh, preparing for all these jobs uh, while i was working so uh, i basically work from uh, uh, 10 am to almost 7 to 8 pm sometimes 10 pm as well not continuous but the time get extended to that time and then after that i used to uh, study for all these exams um so i have given exams uh, like nic nilet bark and i have uh, uh, got uh, top ranks in all these exams uh, and, re- and recently uh, i got uh, offer uh, from um, uh, nilet Uh, for the post of scientist b so i have uh, joined currently as a scientist b in ilet kolkata and uh, i have uh, i have been working uh, here as a scientist b um so uh, regarding my preparation i started preparing for all these exams uh, uh, last year in may and uh, uh the material which i mostly followed was that of the gate because gate is a mother of all these exams if you prepare well for the gate almost 60 to 70% of the syllabus get covered yes 30% syllabus uh, is different for all these exams because we have some subjects like uh, software engineering web technology artificial intelligence iot blockchain and uh, some other recent trend topics are also there which are not part of gate syllabus and also aptitude you need to prepare well for all these exams because uh, in gate the aptitude level is very easy and in these exams uh, the aptitude is pretty hard so you need to prepare that as well but still if you prepare for uh, well for the gate uh, uh mostly it will cover almost 60 to 70% of the syllabus uh, so i uh, uh, mostly prepared from youtube for all these exams 
um i referred uh, gw channel there are lot of crash courses are there and also um, like pre- for practice i mostly followed the pyqs of the gate i have done all these pyqs almost 6 uh, to 7 times till now and also uh, i have uh, watched many practice uh, lectures which are available on the gw channel so that helped me a lot for my uh, preparation and uh, my routine usually seems to be uh, cover a subject then do the practice so while i was practicing the covered subject i am also parallelly you know learning the new subject so this way what helps that i am also practicing something and also learning a new thing and it's a kind of a pipeline you can say concept where uh, uh, i keep multiple subjects uh, in my mind this way and this helps me uh to keep the multiple things at a time and uh, uh, since i was already good in cds and algo so i started with computer networks operating system then toc and compiler design but uh, uh, for a, a beginner who is starting for the preparation of the gate or all these exams uh, i would say they can start with uh, c programming and digital logic and then they can continue with uh, data structure algorithm computer organization architecture toc and compiler design and i would also suggest that uh, parallelly they can do engineering mathematics or aptitude maybe two two hours daily because math is something which need to be practiced continuously and uh, that will uh, improve the maths maths because you cannot improve your maths uh, in one month or something like that you need to do the continuous practice to improve that so i would i would suggest that you can uh, do it parallelly with all the subject and also it's refreshing because you are you know keep learning uh, watching videos you get bored so you can also get uh, your mind refreshed when you do uh, two hours uh, maths or something like that um uh, uh, so this was actually the order of my subject and also uh, uh, you guys can follow uh, this order so uh, especially i would suggest that uh, now the gate exam is coming and only uh, less than one month is left so what i will suggest to the students that they should not get uh, panic with the marks they are getting in the test series because i have also given many tests and i also uh, do not get good marks initially but you need to be confident on your skills that you have learned a lot just one month is left if you are not getting good marks it doesn't mean that you won't get the marks in gate uh, you can uh, polish yourself at this time i would say to avoid learning new things because in a month you cannot learn new thing and practice them instead i would suggest that whatever you have learned you try to practice them revise them give tests and do the analysis this one month uh, mostly you know those those students will uh, take a long leap who have done a good preparation throughout the year and now lacking somewhere you know in the a silly mistake or time management is not happening so i would suggest that you should focus more on you know uh, removing all these uh, mistakes which are doing in the test so that you won't repeat them in the gates uh, many times it happens that you know student know the concept but due to some mismanagement of the time or the uh, or the, some kind of silly mistakes they do in the exam they get 10 to 15 marks less uh, less so i would suggest that you know you can focus on all those things and keep revising the notes or the uh, subjects as well parallelly and uh, i would say test is the best thing which you can do to make uh, or to secure the top ranks because my uh, way of studying is practical way i don't leave uh, at the end to give the test i as soon as i complete a subject theoretical thing i just start doing the practice i also uh, i am also part of many whatsapp groups so i usually get practice a lot while solving the doubts being present in the group so i do not need to do a uh, uh, practice for my own i usually solve doubt in all these groups so it helps me as well and also to the student and sometimes when you explain the doubt what happens that you know your concept also gets stronger or you also get to learn lot of new things because when people discuss about the doubts uh, you also get a new perspective for that question 
so i would suggest that whenever you get a time uh, you should solve the doubts so it will help you as well and as well as to the someone who is asking and uh, that actually for me it played a very important role in securing all these top ranks in uh, all the exams which i have given because solving doubt throughout the year it uh, actually keep the concept in mind and for longer term so i do not need to revise again and again i just solve all these doubts and it helped me a lot uh, to secure a, a good rank and uh, 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 i would say that even after giving the gate you should not relax yourself i think one more exam is coming bar ke exam uh, if you uh, somehow didn't perform well in the gate you can also you know prepare for bar the uh, content is similar uh, similar but i would say the pattern is little bit different so in the bar they usually ask uh, uh, statement based question so they what they will do they will give statement like statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 and 4 and then you will have options like 1 2 3 2 3 4 1 2 like that i would say most uh, questions are like this only so it's kind of you can say msq in the form of mcq because you need to be sure about the uh, all the statements then only you know you will be able to uh, do the uh, get the you know correct option so i would say that you can relax for some days but if your paper didn't go well you have another chance uh, to ace the bars thanks guys so in this video you are able to observe how uh, rishi ji able to clear multiple examinations with this uh, gate preparation so guys there are high possibility if you prepare for the gate exam and you are able to develop your concept then uh, definitely there are multiple examinations are there uh, you are able to clear the, this all exam through the single gate preparation so you need to study little bit more and solve some pyq uh, for the specific exam uh, otherwise the concepts and the uh, technical parts is remaining same. so in my opinion guys you need to work hard for your gate preparations and if you are able to uh, crack gate exam and if you are not able to crack gate examination that time you have a multiple other opportunities uh, you can attempt that opportunities and definitely uh, if if your concepts are good you are developed uh, able to develop your career in a uh, good manner the rest we will meet in another video you can join kuldeep sir underscore pw telegram channel thank you so much goodbye take care